to get practice tests for grade 7 math section question number 34 this problem has a lot of weird parts to it it's not really that hard it just looks like it is the diagram below represents a triangular section of a park triangle WST which I'm gonna go ahead and mark out with this highlighter WST is the big one is similar that's important to triangle WXY which is the little bit smaller one here I'm gonna put those together so the big one is similar to the other one which means that the sides have a proportional relationship so the side of the big one this WS thing is proportionally related to the bottom so whatever the distance is from here to here in relationship to the bottom is the same as it is from here to here in relationship to this. I'm going to show you what that means in just a second. If the length of WS is 234, so this whole thing here is 234. They want to know what the length of XY is. So they want to know what this distance is. So I'm going to break out the little triangle here for a second. X, Y, W. Now what I'm looking for is a relationship that's proportional. So I'm going to show the whole side of the big triangle, which is 234, which would be the left side, over 117. And remember, this is the side, and this is the bottom, or the base, or whatever you want to call it. By the way, two triangles, one, two, three numbers, which I can get this number here in just a second. So. I'll know what this is in two seconds. So I have one, two, three numbers. So I have that two, three, four thing I'm looking for because I'm looking for the four. So I'm going to set up a proportion here. Now, I need to figure out what WX is, which isn't really that difficult to do. It's easy to fall into a trap and pick 117, but that would be absolutely wrong. 117 is just meant to represent this distance, but that's not the distance we're looking for. We want to know what this is. I want to do that. I take that 234 and I subtract 117 from it. So I get 117 again, which means that X is actually the midpoint. Uh, so this distance is 117. Now, I don't want to do something ridiculous here and just assume that the other number is 234. That would be real easy to do, but I'm not going to do that. Because I down on my uh, proportion here, that number represents the side of the little triangle. This one represents this. This one represents this. So the side is 117. I'm going to put my X right there. That's what I'm looking for. Or I could even call it X, Y. That's easy enough, which is the male chromosomal pattern. Anyway, I'm going to do cross, multiply, and divide. So 117 times 117. And then I'm going to divide that by 234 and I get 58.5 and in case you didn't see I did 117 times 117 equals 234 times X this number gave me I had it in my calculator and then I lost it and I shockingly can't do 3 by 3 multiplication in my head very easily I might could do it on paper but why bother at this point to get rid of times I need to divide so I divide by 234 and I get the number I'm looking for 58.5 feet what that means is the relationship of the two sides so 58.5 in relationship to 117 is the same relationship as 117 is to 234 we figured out earlier that 117 plus 117 uh, equal 234 so let's see if 58.5 plus 58.5 gives me 117 and it certainly does so if I do two times the base it gives me the height same thing here two times this gives me the height of the big one so if you just set it up and write down a few things I think this problem really isn't that complicated you could set up a nice proportion for yourself I just wanted to draw it out a little bit so you could see where my answers were coming from